How's everyone doing today? It's Burke Crown coming out of the YouTube video. And what we have today is the new event, Advent Calendars, Hut Rush. What you can get out of Hut Rush towards the new event. If you use everything from Hut Rush to the new event, what's it going to look like for you? And I've also been working on the uh, objectives. So we're going to take a look at everything I got. We're going to take a look at the new event of card that I'm going to be chasing because there is one in particular that I think, uh, I think is a necessary must build, which is kind of tough that you have a must build card in an objective because if you don't have it and everyone else has it, it's going to be, you're going to be at a disadvantage, but let's go see who that is. Let's see what you got to do to get them. We're going to do it for free, of course, with time, not, not money, just time. And we're going to see, uh, we're going to see how long it takes us to get them. Hopefully we have them by uh, by Monday so we can start playing with them Monday and uh, having fun But let's get into this event guys There's a lot of stuff to kind of talk about with all the changes that have happened come yesterday So without holding back if you do enjoy the video guys hit that sub button notification bell So you don't miss anything in the future, but let's get into it Let's See what we got Okay, first the first thing we're gonna go over is the advent calendar the easiest quickest thing to get out of the way I've got two packs because I have two accounts. So I'm gonna show you those now and uh, Just sort of discuss the advent calendar as we rip open the two advent days one so you see here, yeah, we're just silver players, silver jerseys, and uh, we're going to luck out and get a gold here, so that's pretty cool. But uh, but yeah, when it comes to the advent calendar, you don't want to miss it, guys, because there are going to be special days. And those special days will be the 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 25th. I wonder if the 25th is going to be our Christmas pack or if we're going to get our Christmas pack plus another one. I'm assuming it's just going to be one pack, and that will be our Christmas pack because it's gold squared instead of just dotted squared so what are we going to get on the three and if you are wondering 8 15 and 22 are all wednesdays so keep that in the back of your mind but that is the advent calendar guys and those were the two day one packs i'll try to put my day i'll try to put my advent calendar packs at the start of every video so if you're curious what i get for day two check that out tomorrow now quickly into hut rush it took me two hours and 10 minutes to complete all the hut rush challenges and which doing all those hut rush challenges it took 17 games to do it i uh i completed every single hut rush objective and got everything so it comes with two collectibles a bunch of packs two captain players one which being rob blake and one being owen nolan and then you get daily collectibles more packs but then uh the three collectibles are good and the packs are good and then the bronze collectibles are good because you can turn them into packs what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn everything from my hut rush into captain's collectibles guys that way we can say if you do hut rush just out of doing hut rush this is what you can get i've already turned in the collectibles so this is this is everything outside of that so we're just going to count through it then i'll speed open it and we'll talk about what we're doing okay so before i open it just a general understanding of what i'm going to get out of all this i'm going to get 10 80 pluses and 26 gold players that is guaranteed that is not if i get lucky what happens so with 26 gold players and 10 80 pluses that is something that i can take over and build collectibles let's see what we get here we're just going to speed open everything because none of these are really exciting packs that i expect to get anything huge out of and then after i rip open all these packs we'll go over and look at the one player that i want which is mark messier he is an absolute must build and we're going to talk about that a thousand a thousand coins let's go absolute must build and like i said we will be talking about that but uh, mark messier if you don't have him you're going to notice that uh he is gonna he's gonna hurt you out there so you got to get him to win those draws 99 face off on mark messier is the uh the most important thing so you know, you got Joe Newendike that you're going to be changing in for team builders, and you don't want to lose a strong centerman like Joe Newendike on the hopes that team builders give you another strong centerman. Save all of these silver jerseys, guys, all these bronze logos. Save everything because we don't know what XP is going to come out with, and you want to be prepared for that. They're non tradable, so just hang on to them. Don't exchange them for anything until we figure out what they're doing with the XP sets that we're going to get on Tuesday more gold players again we're going to turn all those in and uh and get as many collectibles as we can i'm assuming 25 gold players will be enough to get me one collectible which will be good enough which will be good enough and then the 1080 player and then the 1080 overall players i'm assuming will be good enough to get me another collectible so i'm hoping that hut rush accounts for three collectibles well one be or three being uh in the uh just collectibles you get from doing it and then out of all these gold players i'm hoping that gives me another two so five being the total you get because if you get five you do your moments that'll be nine 
and then if you get hits you can get a player to start working on other collectibles and that's how you can start getting your games built up by getting these players as quick as possible because you get owen nolan and uh ooh, 82 overall nice that's a good pull you get owen nolan and uh rob blake just for doing the objective or the hot rush and then if you get the 30 hits that's three captains players that you can use to start working on your games which is huge because you need to start banking those out of the way real quick so you can get this done because you want to get this done before week two hits and you got a whole new set of objectives to get a whole new set of collectibles to work on what i'm hoping matt sundin makes his way into this game on the captain's list he's one of the best captains in the league and he is the best captain toronto's ever had so i'm hoping that matt sundin really does make this tier because i i would like to get him in the game 88 is a good card it would be strong to use and he'd be good to have uh, on a center line with uh with Mark Messier, so Messier on one line, Sundin on another would be would be huge. And then that'd allow me to put Gretzky on the wing, maybe, and, and Matthews on a wing and really, really start really start pushing out uh, some points off of these guys. But that is what you get for Hot Rush right there, guys. That is all I got. But uh, like I said, it was the 26 gold players and the 10 80 pluses. So now we're going to look to see what that gets us. Eight gold players gets you one collectible, so 26. So that gets you three gold collectibles. So now we can build three gold collectibles here. This actually might turn out better than I thought. So there's my three gold collectibles out of the 26 80, or out of the 26 gold players. And then you need seven 80s. So we're only getting one there, which, you know, is what it is. Well, we'll turn those in. So we, we've gotten rid of seven and we got rid of 24. Not quite 10 and not quite 26, but I don't want to spend more because I want to do this with the resources they give you from the event. So I guess you can look at it this way. I've used 24 gold players, so I get to keep two. And I've used seven 80s, so I get to keep three. I'm actually saving five players and getting the collectibles. So that's four collectibles plus the three I got from doing Hut Rush. That's seven collectibles. So then where I would go from there is I'd go to your captain's moments and do all and do these three challenges or these four challenges whichever ones you can complete the quickest right this jerome ginla one is in overtime get an assist with jerome ginla bang that out in a couple of seconds get one goal with jamie ben in the third period bang that one out and then in the first period messier and in the third period top shelf with bork so if you're good at top shelf goals it doesn't say left or right just a top shelf snipe you can get in one goal, in one goal with Bork, which is the third period, 20 minutes, so you'd have to play one third period. If that's Superstar, and the other ones seem to be lesser difficulties, so you'd have to go off of um, what you're comfortable with. But you could bang out three of these four, plus the seven you just got from two hours and 10 minutes of Hut Rush. Two and a half hours, you can get an 85 overall. That's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good. And then you add that 85 overall to the three that you... To the three captain cards that you've already got and you can start really working on objectives here i've already completed a couple that's how i got the bacchus and the elite pack but then now it's just getting as many cards in my lineup as i can to get some of the games done and then my dailies will eventually happen and then you know working on your goals and your assists completing it gets you another 85 so now we're at 285s and then these two here goals and assists get you another 85 so now you're at three of the six 85s Here's 10 for two tenths. Now you're at four. And here's nine collectibles. So you take one from the eight and that puts you to another 10. You're at five. And you're at five with seven collectibles left. Plus you have one more over in the moment. So you need two collectibles if you do all of that to get an 88 Marc Messier. And like I said, I will be shooting for this Marc Messier to be on my team before Monday. So, uh, so today I played Rush. And I was playing squad battles to get objectives done. And this is where I'm at. Tomorrow, I'm going to play some moments. And I'm going to go back to squad battles. And I'm going to get an 85 on my team to help with the games. And I'm just going to go, 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 go. Until I can get Mark Messi on my team. Because if I can do it in two days, guys, that would be huge. And it would come at the cost of two collectibles. And what do two collectibles cost? Two collectibles cost 184 You search the auction house. You can get an 84 for 6 k So you can get yourself an 88 for a little bit of time played a lot of time played but you can get yourself an 88 for time played and 6k that's not bad and the card that leads this pack i would say in week one would be mark messier 90 speed 90 acceleration good shooting 
and defensive awareness at 93 plus 92 stick check with 99 face off is elite and that is something that is really going to uh, set him over everyone else and win you as many draws as you can plus 210 six foot two is massive you can use him at every division guys this card is a must build in my opinion and uh you're going to notice it when you don't have it and you're playing against it losing every single face off with possession being the way it is this is this card you got to have this card guys you got to have this card and last thing with the uh the event coming to an end next gen you might notice that you cannot build the next gen players anymore that is simply because they are fantasy type players if one of them gets a calder and then he becomes a 99 what you can do with your object your collectibles is you can turn them into packs i'm gonna i have five built i have five saved up or five earned from doing objectives i'm gonna turn them into an elite pack we can go rip that pack and that's essentially what you can do with your uh with your collectibles from there but it it is like a fantasy event that's why you can't pull those cards or build those or build those cards anymore because if you want them you got to go buy them it's just unfortunate if you missed out on it but i feel like uh i feel like it had to be done just to because like it's a, it's if they didn't do it that way then what would the point be of building them and taking the risk when you could just wait it out right that's why they have to do it that way thank you guys for watching the video that's the advent calendar and also that is how you get yourself an 85 in two and a half hours it, it didn't take that long um and you guys can go out and do it right now it's it's right there guys it is right there you can easily go get it two and a half hours you have yourself your first 85 put them on your team with your Bacchus, your nolan and your blake that's four players to help with your games to help you get more collectibles to put more 85s in your lineup to get those goals the assists and, and get things rolling so thank you guys for watching the video till next time Ciao, ciao.